Hello and welcome to this video on missing number multiplication. Today we are going to have a look at these multiplication problems and try to work out which single digit number fits in all of the boxes by using our multiplication skills and our numerical reasoning skills. So as you can see the problems will get a little bit more challenging as we go ahead. They will first start with a one digit times two digits and then we will progress on to two digits times two digits and maybe three by three as well. Okay, so let's get started. Our first problem is to try to find this number here. So what I'm going to do in order to do that is to look at the single digits, the unit digits, and these two numbers here. So we know that something times 4 is going to give me an answer with 4 at the end. And the only numbers in the 4 times table that have 4 in the end are 1, 4 times 1, and 6, because 4 times 6 equals 24. So then I think to myself, if it is 1, Will it work? 1 times 34, well that can't be right because the answer is going to be 200 and something. So it can't be 1, so in that case it has to be 6. So I'm going to erase that, put in 6. 6 times 34, then you can work that out to find the missing number in there. 204. Okay, so let's see which number fits into the missing boxes. Rem remember, each number is only one digit. So, I always start with the unit column first. We have our 8, the blank, and the 4. So that means that 8 times something equals a number that ends in 4. And I need to, need to work out which numbers in 8 times table um, do that. And my answers are 8 times 3 equals 24. And the other one, 8 times 8 equals 64. So that's great. So now I know that we are limited to only two options, 3 or 8 in that box. So next thing you can do is just work out 8 times 53 and 8 times 58 and see which one fits into the answer. So let's do 8 times 58 first. So plenty of ways I can multiply for that, but it's 8 times 50 and 8 times 8. We can add those together and we get 464. So that doesn't work because of the 6 in the middle. So let's try 8 times 53. That's going to be 8 times 50, 400, plus 8 times 3, 424. And that then has to be our answer. Excellent! Alright then, let's make it even harder still. So we have slightly bigger numbers here and two unknowns to find in the answer. Whoops, that one and that one. Okay, so as always, start with your units column. Three times something equals a number that ends in two. And I can write that out. I go through my 3 times table, I know that 3 times 4 equals 12. And that is the only one, so I know straight away that that number has to be 4. Then I need to work out the other missing in the box there. So this is in my tens column, so I need to go into the tens. So that number times 2 is going to be in number is going to give me something at the start of the answer. So something times 2 equals a number that's going to give me, but it's not 22, it's going to be 2200 and something. So remember, we're dealing with tens here. And I need to think to myself, what times 2 equals 22? Well, we know that's 11, but we need to consider the units that come as well. So that's going to be a part of the final answer. And I can only fit in a one digit into my box. So in that case, let's start with the bigger numbers like 9 or 8. So 
and see which answer is closest. Okay, so I'll start working out 83 times 24, and here's one I've done earlier, and I calculated that that equals 1,992. A little bit small, smaller than my answer, so I need to make that number bigger. So now I'll try 93 times 24. I'll work it out. I suggest when you work these out that you write out your full working on a piece of paper. And I know that 93 times 24 is 2,232. So that means the 3 fits into the box right there. And the 9 fits in there. Alright. Now it's your turn. Pause the video. Have a go at these three questions. You will need some paper to write all your working out on. And then I will come and show you my answers to compare with yours. Right then, let's see how you did. Okay, so first question. Something times 52 equals 100 and something ending in 6. So, I'm going to think about my units column. I think what times 2 equals 6? Well, I have only one option there, and that has to be 3. So I know that answer has to be 3 in the box there. Then all you need to do is work out what's 3 times 52, and that is 156. So the 5 goes in there. Okay, not too hard. Right, let's try the next one. 7 times 40-something equals a three-digit number. Okay, so because we are dealing with a missing units column, I'm going to work out 7 times what gives me a number that ends in 2. What are all the options that do that? And, of course, the only option that we can have there is 7 times 6. So... I have to put 6 into the box. And now all we need to do is work out what is 7 times 46. And my answer is 322, putting the 3 in that box. And finally, the last one. Okay, so we have two missing numbers. Slightly bigger numbers to deal with as well. Two digits. So let's start with the units again. 2 times something is going to give me a number that ends in 4. And this time I have two options, and they are 2 times 2, or 2 times 7. 2 times 2 is 4, or 14 for 2 times 7. Okay, so I'm not, not sure which one that will be, so I'm going to have to try both of them at some point. Okay, so now we can also look at the start of the answer. I have a 30 here, so something times 3 is going to give me a 30. So I can't fit in 10 times 3 into because I only have to have one digit in the box. So why don't I start with something big, like 9. But remember to take into account the units that are come afterwards, because it's 92 times 30 something. So I might also have to check something a little bit smaller. So let's check 8 as well. So that means that we're going to have four multiplications to check, and they are going to be 82 times 32, 82 times 37, 92 times 32, and 92 times 37. And you will have to use your reasoning, work them out. If it's too big, you might have to reduce and go for the smaller numbers out of those four options and see which ones fit. Okay, so I'll start with a smaller one, 82 times 32, and on a piece of paper I worked it out that that is 2,624. So that's far too small. So we can cancel out those options. And then I'll work out the other one, 92 times 37. I will write this down. It may sound like a calculator, but it isn't really. And my answer is 3,404. 
which is much too big. So I will cancel out those options. So it has to be something in the middle here. So then let's work out 82 times 37. Right out you're working on paper. And would you believe it? My answer is 3034. And that fits in the box. So if I put my 3 in there, in that case that was the 8 in there and the 7 in there. Well done if you got all of those correct. Alright now, so you've gotten those correct. It is time for you to try something harder for you to become the champion. So I want you to have a go at this. Work out the missing numbers that fit in here. This time we have some much bigger numbers, three digits by three digits. Pause the video, have a go, and then I will come back with the answers shortly. All right then, let's see how you did. So as always, I will start with the units column. So that means that seven times something is going to give me a number that ends in one. And I know that that can only be three. Seven times three is 21. So that three fits into the box nicely there. Then I need to look at the start of the, each number. Something times 4 is going to give me a number that ends in 12, or begins with 12. Okay, because the whole number is 120 something. So I need to just think, what times 4 gives me 12? I know that has to be 3. But remember, the answer may not be 3 that goes into the box here. Because of everything that comes afterwards, the tens and the units. So I'm going to have to explore the two options. So it may be 3, but that might also be 2 or 1. So the three numbers I'm going to have to calculate are going to be 367 times 483, 267 times 483, and maybe even 167 times 483. Okay, so on my piece of paper I'll work that out. And I realize that 367 times 483 gives me a number which is much too big, 177,261. So we can discount that one because I want something that's 120 something and 961. So let's have a go working out that answer. 267 times 483. And that gives me, lo and behold, an answer that can fit in 128,961. Yes, so the 8 can fit in there, and the 2 will fit in there. Alright, so that is missing number multiplication. I hope you are more confident with your multiplications after working all of that out. Thank you for watching.